Hello Libra and welcome to Soul Sundays. Libra, it's a quick three card spread, one for mind, body and soul for your week ahead. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Libra. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for their week ahead. Beautiful. Um, money is on your mind. Ace of trees, abundance. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles is what that card is, okay? It talks about um, an, an opportunity, thinking about an opportunity, either thinking about changing jobs, thinking about um, making uh, a move, thinking about anything that's going to bring you abundance and prosperity. One card, please, for the spiritual message. There it is. Nice, Libra. Core. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because um, your whole reading ties in together beautifully, which is great. Let's talk about this BAM of a card. Ace of trees, ace of pentacles. Now, in traditional tarot, it shows, shows a hand out like this and a giant coin looking like it's a gift from the heavens, right? When we think about it, all of our skill set, everything that we've been taught has all been about um, opportunity that's been given to us from um, energy, from the above, from source, from whatever your belief is, Right. This is saying to you that um, many good things are flowing your way when it comes to money, okay? You've had a very topsy-turvy year when it comes to career, abundance, wealth, um, and your mind is very much on actually increasing that and having a stable, stable ground point, right, and having a good foundation. For you, it's telling you this week you're very much in the focus of um, how you can grow, how you can build your nest egg, what you can do, and you're looking at other ways of making income. Um, whether that be passive income, so something that you get paid for that you create while you sleep, or whether that be something that you're actively in and creating, is like I am right now for you with this YouTube channel and doing this reading. Um, it's called abundance for a reason. So it's not money or wealth. This card's called abundance because it's bigger than that, right? And it encapsulates everything that helps you grow and bring in um, uh, bounty, right? It's described as uh, a flood of plenty is flowing your way. You are about to experience many different manifestations of the energy you have planted. So all of the seeds, all of the stuff that you've put forward this year, all of the little projects, the side projects, all of the fails, all of the successes, everything that you've been working hard for are about to start paying off. Woohoo! <laughs> this is not a week to go buy a lotto ticket. It's not that. It's from stuff that you've worked hard to actually bring into fruition, Okay. Um, it's described as a surge of energy brings renewed interest to your career, creations or finances. Something you have been yearning for is on its way. You now can enjoy the product of your hard work. You've been giving to others or to a project for so long that you've forgotten how to receive. To receive, you must open your heart and your mind. You are worthy of this manifestation. So it's a big one there, which aligns to your core right, your spiritual message and allowing you to understand that manifestation works and you achieve when you actually believe that it's going to come through, okay, when you actually believe that you are entitled to receiving the bounty that's coming to you. So your mindset's thinking very much about money this week, about abundance, about wealth creation, about having more wealth and whatever that looks like to you, okay, prosperity, wealth, all of those great things, but you need to understand that that comes from your very core and allowing that to manifest up, it comes from your belief, OK, um, and if you don't have the self-belief that it's coming to you, if you doubt yourself even for a second, then you're going to start manifesting that doubt. So the more that you sit there and go, you know what, I deserve this, this is coming to me, then that's what it's going to bring to you. All right. Now, it says a choice reveals what is at the heart of an action or a situation. The closer you get to the truth, the hotter the reaction. External um, uh, pressures are offset by seeking inner calm. So finding your balance, finding your balance when it comes to pressure or stress is through things that allow you to have stress release. So meditation, walking, exercise, um, having a good laugh, those kind of things. Wealth, relationships, joy, family, independence, status of control. Choose wisely. You have your heart to answer to. Shallow compliments or an aversion to meaningful dialogue is a red flag. So it's asking you to be authentic. It's asking you to delve deep into what's at the heart of your core. What is it that brings you wealth? What is it that's going to bring you happiness? Because when you follow that path, then naturally wealth, um, joy, happiness, um, excitement, all of those great high vibrations, they will come. Okay. 
So at the center of your very core is what is important to you. It's what's going to bring you abundance. It's what's going to bring you wealth. You've already been working to plant these seeds. It's just this week you have the opportunity to actually achieve it. Um, and if you're not sure where this is at, then take the time to reset, take yourself time to actually move away from what it is, whatever it is that you've been trying to create and do a new, a new spot check. Think of it as like new years, you know, where we sit down and go, what do I want to achieve for the next three months of the year? I've got three months. What can I do in that time? That's what it's asking you to do. And then pick one thing that resonates with you most at your core that would bring you the most happiness, not you and your partner, not you and your family, not you and your friends just you by yourself what brings me the most joy and then go for it okay there you go Libra that was your reading for this week ahead it's absolutely beautiful I wish you all of the abundance uh take care